share with you three things I think everybody is overlooking when it came to Tesla's battery day and their annual shareholder meeting that they kind of merged together in one event. But before we get into that, I want to just highlight the stuff everybody is fixated on. And the reason the stock is selling off today is because of these comments Elon Musk made about the battery technology not being exactly ready yet. So take a listen. Yeah, I mean, to be clear, I would like to not say that right now it's just totally working. It's 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 close to working but it's not even now it at the pilot plant level it is close to working well i okay i could fair to say it probably it does work but with not a good not a high yield yeah i mean it is super demanding because every atom has its place if you want to deliver the energy density and the cycle life and the supercharging yeah but we're but we're we're confident that we will get there but it yeah. will be a lot of work along the way there's a clear path to success but a ton of work between here and there now we're going to come back to that in a second but the other most highlighted news to come out of this event was the tesla plaid which is going to be the safest fastest production car ever made in history and if you missed the little 30 second highlight reel here it is Now, aside from this all being super incredible stuff to listen to, this was like a three or four hour event in which I'm only taking some really tidbit advice that I just nobody's talking about right now that I want to mention and share with you guys. So in the clarity of my transparency, doing all this homework for you last night, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button, but let's just, ha, ha, what? was a like so many of you know i actually sold some tesla shares off just before we went into battery day not because i thought anything negative was going to come out of it it's just the stock is extremely volatile and you know the rest of the markets were selling off and i said you know if tesla holds up the markets sell off i'm going to take a little bit more profit in which i sold five shares of tesla leaving me with about 20 that i don't really plan on touching anytime soon and again no correlation to the battery day or the annual shareholder meeting but getting into some of the stuff that i just found super fascinating that nobody's talking about that is just way too overlooked. The first little segment I want to talk about comes from the investor relation aspect of this event. And the first thing that I'm highly focused on was the self-driving comments that Elon Musk made. Because as an investor, I'm looking for those cash flowing opportunities that are going to come out of this company. And one of the major ones, the hugest catalyst in my opinion, is them getting to self-driving and starting the their own version of their Uber self-driving network or when that's going to actually start rolling out. And according to Elon Musk, they had some major issues with the AI behind self-driving in which they managed to fix mostly all of it. And from my understanding, and again, no one's talking about this, there's no report release, but Elon said that they're going to be releasing the beta version of full self-driving next month. So take a quick listen. Um, and then the sophistication of the neural nets in the car and the overall logic in the car has improved dramatically. Um, I think we'll, we'll hopefully release uh, a private beta of, of autopilot of the full self-driving version of autopilot in I think a month or so uh, and then people will, will really uh, understand just the magnitude of the change it's, it's profound um, so <laughs> yeah um, now that by far was the most exciting tidbit of news to me because that's the one that's going to take them to the quickest route of profitability and growing those bottom line earnings from an investor standpoint. But moving more to the battery side of things, guys, I, I, there's a reason that Tesla's worth, you know, hundreds of billions of dollars and is the most expensive car company on the planet. And that is because they are just way more advanced on every single level when it comes to their manufacturing. Their manufacturing plants are more impressive, in my opinion, than the actual cars they're producing in which I took some highlighted information from them just specifically talking about the battery production itself. I mean, you can look at the new gig, the Giga factory they're building out in Texas there that's going to be like three times the size of anything they pretty much built. But even on the battery level, I mean, just take a listen to what they plan on doing with the battery factories and taking that to scale. Where from humble beginnings, over a century of innovation has enabled mass scale, continuous motion, unbelievably low manufacturing cost. 
And when we think about the lithium ion industry, which is really only in its third decade of high volume production, it has so far to go to, to achieve similar scale and simplicity. And that, that was the inspiration that we set out to the team as we thought about how to marry cell design and manufacturing in the best possible factory. And when you're looking at this, you're like, wow, that's a lot of equipment for one step, especially when you consider that little speck next to the coating oven is a person. So, yeah, it's a video of uh, some of what's going on in the plant. Now, aside from them taking that and crunching it down into like one tenth the size, because obviously, I mean, battery production is becoming one of the most major things that's going to happen in the car auto sector. I mean, every sector right now is moving into batteries if it's technology based. And this is something that GM, Ford, every other auto manufacturer is just going to get slaughtered on. And I'm hoping is eventually going to have to partner with Tesla, because if we're going to be producing millions of cars, guys, the batteries are going to be more important than the car production themselves. Elon stated that they're trying to deal with the supply and demand control because essentially they're they're planning on a, a battery supply shortage somewhere around 2023 which is why they keep using the term vertically integrated where they have control of every step of the manufacturing process now this this is wild stuff which leads us down into the actual batteries themselves that actually led the stock into selling off literally today was the fact that they're working on these this brand new battery design it's going to increase the range by i think 16 percent it's going to have five times the power output and this is something that i don't know if they're adopting into the plaid the, the new tesla model itself i showed you a tidbit of what elon musk said about the battery that it's not just ready yet but the battery advancements that are coming with this new design is pretty astronomical in and of itself and this is why we invest in tesla to be at the forefront of a revolution in an industry that hasn't been touched in literally a hundred years here guys so let's take a listen to the new battery technology and then i'll final up i'll finalize up with some comments here folks this is the challenge that our team uh, set our sights on to overcome. And we did. We came up with this tabless architecture that maybe you've heard about um, that, that basically removes the thermal problem from the equation and allows us to go to the absolute lowest cost form factor um, and the simplest manufacturing process. And this is what, this is what we mean when we, when we talk about tabless. It's kind of a beautiful thing. Uh, that's what these, these t-shirts mean, but it's very esoteric. It's like nobody could figure it out. But Yeah. Um, we basically took the existing foils, laser patterned them, and enabled dozens of connections into the active material through this shingled spiral you can see. With simpler manufacturing, fewer parts, 50, 50 millimeter versus 250 millimeter electrical path length, uh, which is how we get all the thermal benefits. You know, keeping a little secret source here <laughs> that we're not telling everything. Um, but... Uh, Sometimes what's <laughs> elegant and simple is still hard, and it, we, we, it took us a lot of trials, but we're, we're happy where we ended up. Yeah, I mean, everything's simple in, in recollection. You know, after you, like, uh, simple, everything, it's hard until it's discovered, and then it's simple. Um, and so when we put it all together and go to our new 80 millimeter length, 4680, we call this uh, new cell design, we get five times the energy with six times the power and enable 16% range increase just form factor alone. Uh, yeah, so we're, 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 these, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. And, and just, and just to, to clarify that when we, when we see these um, plus 16% the or whatever the, the percentage range increases, these are the amounts due just to that particular innovation. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, this event was by far one of the most exciting events surrounding Tesla and we all kind of expected that the stock might sell off. I honestly didn't know what was gonna come out of battery day because everything was essentially leaked. I mean, Elon was wearing that shirt. They were showing some signs of some stuff that led people down the path of figuring out, you know, their million mile battery here, which really wasn't a million mile battery. I don't even think they commented too much on that aspect of it. But nonetheless, guys, some really fascinating stuff going on here. and. Right now, I truly believe Tesla is just insanely overvalued, but it is overvalued for a reason. And I mean, if they can just keep advancing the way they're advancing, I don't know how any other auto manufacturer is going to have a chance at keeping up. I mean, we keep saying they're decades behind, and that still is no joke today. Like, none of these auto manufacturers, unless they partner with what 
you know, Elon Musk and these engineers are modifying and advancing upon. I mean, they're not even a stepping stone close to any of this yet. So I'd love to know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. I will always be a long-term Tesla shareholder, but I am going to take profits. I, like I said, long-term bull, but in the macro aspect of things, I'm taking it very cautiously. I'm happy of, to adopt it into those Tesla shares a year ago and not today, but I, I just got lucky, guys, that I took on that assumed risk and it ended up paying off. But I will always up you guys on what is going on with tesla because i'm one of the few people that actually sit down and listen to these full events and find the most highlighted news that you know nobody seems to be talking about so stay cool stay awesome and i look forward to chatting to you guys tomorrow